And me and my friend, we started to do battles and we were, people were very aggressive towards us. Like we were called punks. We were called like, you cannot be here, et cetera. It was, it was, and difficult and also fun because you know you feel like a rebel you're like okay <laughs> so i'm always curious to know especially when you're talking to uh people from outside of the country right so breaking is a you know is an african-american subculture right which is yeah. part of hip-hop correct when you are learning about breaking and you're learning about hip-hop in russia is that key piece added to the knowledge or is it more seen as like, well, this is just something that the world does and the history kind of left out? We actually, it's a really good question. We actually talk with my husband about it a lot. And I think Russia and like maybe Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, all the Slavic countries, they have very lack of knowledge about um, the origins of breaking. Uh, I think, as you said, it is, accepted like oh it's just it's just a culture that everybody does yes the history is known but i think that it's much more deep and much more important than it is known over there and i was talking with my friends about it and i think it would be great to have some you mean like allies come into russia and just you know just teaching them because at some point also it was difficult um, right now, yes, you can learn everything uh, in with like internet or whatever. But at the time, like when I started, it wasn't that available. Then all the information, it was just some standard standard information. And if you don't travel, you just don't have this. So I honestly think that um, it is not history of breaking is not that appreciated in in Russia as it should be. Because when I moved when I moved to states, my my knowledge just grew up significantly. Because I just never I just never knew some of the stuff, you know. Right. Well, I mean, it's not like like unfortunately, even here, it's not like really taught that way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We just know because we're from here, exactly. right? But so I imagine that you know once it crosses the ocean. Because you guys have a great understanding of the actual movement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because side note, I was watching that uh, World Dance Sport Federation, the, the event that they did in yeah. Russia. We stand up for quality breaking. And this is the final 10 rounds. Two routines allowed. Three guys over. The battle is gone. Let's go. Should we go first? Now, I'm a proud American. My family has been in this country for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> when this when this Olympics happens in 24, 
I don't know if anybody's really going to be touching Russia because those guys that they had on that Russian five on five team were killing it. I totally agree. I know it's crazy. She's like, like, yep, yep, that's us. (laughs) (laughs) No doubt. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, wasn't Chirito on that team and he's in your crew? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But I'm sorry, what were you going to say about that? Oh, I was I was going to say, yeah, the level of Russian breaking is insane. People, are, like, it's it's crazy how good they are <laughs> and how everybody has their own style and everything. And in that own style, they are amazing. But what I'm saying is that I think sometimes a little bit more of knowledge <laughs> would be great. But it's not that I'm, I'm, like, saying some bad stuff. No, just, I just know that, I, when I was start, like, like learning breaking, my history was completely different because of course, Russia has its own, its own stuff. Uh, I don't know, China has its own stuff, et cetera, et cetera. But it, like, it was born here in Bronx and it has a very deep and interesting history and it should have its own respect to it. And I think that it should be taught all the time and remind it that's what i meant no doubt and do you think that russian like russia as a country would be open to that that history or you think they would be like we don't care no i think if if it you know when the knowledge is presented in an aggressive way nobody wants to hear it if the knowledge is presented in a really nice way as just some classes you know as some maybe open talks uh etc cetera, etc cetera. i think everybody would love that Sarpach is amazing. I remember they had this videos of dancers dancing one by one. And this was like the this was like a Bible. <laughs> um, everybody were inspired by Sarpach, uh, Knucklehead Skelly. For more quality content from Beyond the Cipher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Beyond the Cipher. Let us know how we're doing down in the comment section. And to make sure you don't miss anything from the channel, smash that notification bell. We appreciate the love and support. Peace until the next episode.